Gosh, and then yeah. Apocalypse Now is my favorite war film. Okay, uh, so, so what's the plot of Apocalypse what Now? What's it even about? So Apocalypse Now is based on the Vietnam War. Yeah, that's basically. all I know about. With it. like basically the uh, it's it's told from the American side where like American troops are told. So uh, Martin Sheen is the main character, mm. um, and he is like set on a mission to go and pick up a soldier from like he's like a he's like a vet. Who's the director? From the vet, uh, Francis Ford Coppola. It's the same person who made Godfather. Ah, yeah. So Francis Ford Coppola. Like this is like one of his most famous films, I think. Did you know Francis Ford Coppola is actually the uncle to Nicolas Cage? What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Oh. Random fact I found out the other day. Oh, okay, but anyway, on, so basically it's said where like Martin Sheen's character's team has to go into the Vietnam forest to go and look for this like vet who holds a lot of information about the Vietnam War. Yeah. And basically uh-huh. he's kind of gone insane and is living in the Vietnam. Like, yeah, cause it's Marlon Brando, right? It's Marlon Brando, yeah. basically. It's, it's uh, yeah. So Marlon Brando's character is this like Viet, like soldier vet oh, who yeah. like holds a lot of information and like he needs to be brought back to the US army. Basically Martin Sheen's character goes in, tries to fight off all the, the Viet Cong and you know, tries to get him back mm, basically. Yeah. But as <clears throat> Martin Sheen's character is going through all of these like life and death situations and stuff like that, he too also slowly starts to oh, lose God. his mind. And then eventually, and then, you know, that poster there is pretty much yeah, it's a fucking up. awesome poster. Yeah. yeah, pretty much sums up like that scene where he like comes out of the pool as there's like fighting happening is one of the coolest fucking scenes in cinema. I'm gonna watch that now. That sounds cool. But, like Marlon Brando is like fantastic. Is it, is it a thinky movie? <laughs> do I, I, I don't have, know. How much do I have to think <laughs> during this movie? Well, okay. So Apocalypse Now has like a, a, a director's cut called Apocalypse yeah. Now Redux, which is yeah. like three and a half hours long. Because How long is the original? Three hours. Oh. Yeah. So okay. it's still a long Okay, movie. okay. Because here's the thing about Apocalypse Now, because everything you described, I, yeah. I already kind of knew about yeah. it because I knew like the basic plot description and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. What makes it good? <laughs> okay, so in my opinion, what makes it really good is just the fact, well, first of all, it's like, the music choice in that movie is mm-hmm. fucking brilliant. Mm-hmm. It's like everything I fucking love. Like in my opinion, Apocalypse Now still has one of the greatest opening oh, yeah, scenes of iconic. any movie. Iconic. Very iconic. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. It's also just like, again, it's like, it takes that like kind of war element. And <clears throat> weirdly enough, it's a Vietnam war film that doesn't really have a whole lot of fighting. Yeah. Like really the most amount of like fighting between the US army and Vietnam really happens in like the first like, maybe 20 minutes. Right. Mm. And then the rest of the movie is literally just, you're inside the mind of Martin Sheen's character as he's yeah. like slowly venturing closer and closer to his target. And yeah. he's slowly like losing his mind as a result of war. And it's like a very like, I don't know. It's like a really weird, like psychological twist on a war movie that you don't yeah. really like. Because yeah. when you think of a war movie, right? You think of like Saving Private Ryan. Whereas yeah. like, yeah, there's obviously a lot of like, you know, soldiers getting fucked up in the war scenes, right? But like, right. there's also a lot of like, fighting scenes, yeah. happening, mm-hmm. right? Like gunfighting scenes or whatever the fuck it is. Whereas Apocalypse Now doesn't really have a whole lot of that. It's like, it's almost like a psychological horror set during the Vietnam War. Okay. And I think that's what makes, personally, that's what makes it really interesting to me. Yeah, because it, cool. yeah. the thing is, I think I know more about Apocalypse Now than the actual, than actually seeing the movie itself. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I not like, it, I think this has like a really interesting story behind how it was made. Yeah. Uh, because like, I, I, I think, uh, the director himself, I think almost went bankrupt making this movie yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Uh, because he had to like convince the studio that he owned or something to like lend him the money to make this movie. And he was out there for like months and months shooting this movie and yeah. it almost wasn't made. And I think like Marlon Brando just refused to read the script. Yeah, Marlon, and- yeah, Marlon so Brando he- refused to remember his lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's been notorious for that. Yeah, he, he has an ear but, this, but this was the first movie where he started to become like this. Uh, and yeah. then The Godfather, I think happened after Apocalypse Now, which like then, or was it the other way around? I, th- I think it was the other way around. Yeah, it might've been the other way around. Yeah. But basically, yeah, Marlon Brando doesn't <laughs> appear in this movie until maybe about two and a half hours in. Yeah, I th- I th- and I think like most of his lines are just like ad-libbed because yeah. he just refused to <laughs> remember yeah, I, his lines. I, I, so I'm I, just like, how does that work? How does that work? I don't think work? I've ever seen any, any of the movies that he's in, but yeah. I know that he's like, notorious for being awful to work with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, like during his prime, obviously he was a fantastic, and you know, he's still a yeah. fantastic actor in this movie as well, but it's like, it's very clear that he's not like at his peak, yeah. but yeah. I feel like Martin Sheen's performance in this movie is just so goddamn good. Yeah. That like, he does such an amazing job of like, really like progressively yeah. showing someone going insane. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That, okay. I don't know, it's I, it, my opinion, fantastic movie. I, okay. I remember, I think it was on Joe Rogan, I think. Um, uh, Martin Sheen. 
No, 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 no. Um, Robert Downey Jr. was on oh, it, and yeah. he was talking about that sometimes he he didn't remember lines. Yeah. yeah. Like I think when he did, which I think Sherlock he remembered all his lines for, but other movies he was just like just put put an earpiece in, just feeding their lines. <laughs> well, honestly, like <laughs> and especially like, when he's like Iron Man, yeah. he's just acting Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, <laughs> he, was, he was saying, you know, some films don't require me to get that deep into the character, so there's mm -hmm. no no point in spending all this time learning the lines, but yeah. like. I think for like Sherlock, it was like quite difficult. Some yeah. of the lines and the way that he was doing it. So he, yeah. he wanted to learn it. Yeah. He, he was just like, yeah, it depends on the movie. Yeah. But then the way he, he made it sound, made it seem like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> then when you hear about like the third party accounts of Mar Marlon Brando, it's yeah, like, oh yeah. my God, this sounds like fucking hell. Yeah, right. And I and I bet like, you know, cause there's a lot of big actors in this name, like um, Harrison Ford's in this movie as well. Yeah. Is this before he's angry at everything? Or like this is before he's angry. <laughs> 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 yeah, but like, I don't know. Just really, really good movie in my opinion.